Hey, good evening or good morning. What's up, guys? It's your boy here, Cloud Joseph. Ooh. Okay, please subscribe, like, share, and uh, comment on this channel. So, on today's video, guys, I'm coming live and clear from Mombasa. So, Mombasa is one of the cities we have here in Kenya, but it's the second capital city. So, on today's vlog, I'm having some carrier bag and people might be asking why are you having a carrier bag okay guys I'm having a carrier bag actually I'm going for a small shopping around here and I want to see how everything is hello Tasa okay so oh my goodness this is where I'm staying oh so amazing can I go right or left ah, let me just go left first yeah, let me go this other side because one of the greatest and best area. So this is Mombasa guys and uh, Mombasa has uh, different places. This area is called uh, actually Nyali area but near Bambuli or Bombolulu. So I'm staying in one of these areas right here. Uh, amazingly, let me know what you think about this vlog. So I wanted today like, oh my god, let me go out as a day out. And I want to socialize with people right here because they are my people. We look the same and we want to see their reaction. Kids are coming out of school. Hello, Mambo. Mukopoa. So the construction is still ongoing. Oh my goodness. You see? This is amazingly Mombasa. And uh, so great. And amazingly. So they are actually painting this. And uh, so great. And beautiful this you see the cars around. Oh man. Famous Mombasa. So I don't want to go this straight, I want to go to the other side and uh, start moving from the other side. So this is one of the areas here in Mombasa that we have, but they are so great. Look at the constructions. So this is near Nyali area Most of the people here usually use Swahili for communication Oh, that's uh, an electric tuk-tuk 100% -tuk. electric <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, Basically and uh, sticks are just cool around so this is the neighborhood around which is one of the greatest area so it has been raining really 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 raining in Mombasa so this is one of the things that I've been like oh my goodness what has been happening around so most of people as you see they are carrying umbrellas even kids go with the uh, gumboots at school and I'm like oh my goodness so these are the Maasai people around here hello yeah. soba soba rai how about shingapi yeah. hey yeah, 550 eh? 550 nani reda buwana nani bro eh nitaka hiya leda vizuri lakini si naangalia tu beiju itakuja ni nuata kesho so guys, uh, this is uh, one thing that we have here in an area, this uh, Maasai guy, very nice. So it's very great selling this uh, wallet. I do love wallet. Kama hii metengezo na angozi kabisa? Eh, chagwa chugwa yo ba. Yo angozi. Yo angozi. Mjua sayi mimi na wallet, no sayi mekuna yo kubo but in terms of unka tenu. Kwa tupa moja. Kwa tupa moja. Kwa tupa moja. Kwa tupa moja. Like also they have also mishipi. Kwa tupa moja wa moja wa sayi. Okay, I have some mishipi. This is one of the greatest area actually. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not going to pass, I have to cross the road from the other side, cross to this area. Because there, there's a lot of water also. Oh my goodness, to have my own space on this other area. I'm far away from my village. People might be asking, Cloud, why are you away from the village? I just came in Mombasa, I came to receive some visitors here and uh, I'm actually taking them around here and there so mostly I have a scheduled time, very strict time sometimes 
but also have to work on my own like this the evening time when I'm out uh, I'm going out to do some small shopping around here maybe fruits yesterday I arrived where I was staying uh, I did a small shopping but it was not documented on my vlogs so today we are going to try out what we can get out on this out streets of uh, Nyali area there is a supermarket I was told it's just around here so I'm trying to move around and see how beautiful areas is so most of this area people try to oh, let me go on this outside again so it should be crossing from one point to another crossing from one side to another so mostly in the evening time so people just go oh, oh. she's indicating where she's not going that's one of the craziest types of of, of learning a car she's definitely indicating where she's not going that's the craziness so these are the coral stones they look like bricks but they're not bricks they're actually corals so you see they aren't stones but corals they are called corals coral stones they look like bricks but they're not bricks Mombasa is well known for its uh, looks like this side, like this one. You see, it's mostly mambo fresh kaka, cocoa. Ah, yeah. So that's just actually coral. They are not stones like this. So there's a place where they usually mine these coral stones. Some days, if I get time, I might take you to go have this. Uh, show you how they cut. They have these machines which cut it. And they make nice corals of this one. They are called corals. Sometimes those corals are mined to make cement. Sometimes maybe like there's another area, the other there in Mamba village, where they used to mine for limestone for for cement actually. Uh, on the other side it's a crazy situation yesterday night it rained so hard so people are avoiding most, mostly the, the motorists and the motorbike people the motorbike and the, the cyclists are mostly avoiding the other side so they are using the they're mostly using the pedestrian area to ride because it's too muddy on the other side oh this neighborhood oh my goodness so there's poor drainage system here. Okay. On this other side. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, Jomba. You see now? This is what I was telling you. It has never happened in Mombasa. It has never, never, never happened in Mombasa. Now this is what you are seeing around. People struggling. People really struggling to do it. So, still I'm having my shopping bag. Yeah. Uh, I can't just say hi to my people. Hi, hi. Yes. What's your name? Meshmula Mastama. Meshmula Mastama. Yeah, How is okay. life in Mombasa? Life is complete. Life is complete? Yeah. I'm a new guy. I'm a new I'm a new guy. I'm a new guy. I'm a new guy. Gigi, Nairobi. Bona, why did you choose Mombasa more than from Nairobi? Like Mombasa, we could have gone to another place, maybe yeah. Kisumu, but you chose Mombasa more than uh, Nairobi. Mombasa no the fit, Mombasa Pia, Nepali. I Oh, Mombasa. Yeah. But when you open Mombasa, yeah. so guys, I'm saying like people love Mombasa because it's a relaxing city yeah. and it's one of the best. If uh, it could be Nairobi, I could have found you because Nairobi, everybody minds its own business. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, my YouTube channel is Joseph. Cloud Joseph. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. So 
I'm actually definitely moving around. That guy is like just recovering. Like, Hi, hello, how are you? How are everything is? And I was cool. So I'm actually moving around. I might go up to the other side, then I might moving to the other opposite side, and uh, I might be seeing how beautiful this area is. <laughs> Most of the people are so welcoming and that's very 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 lovely. Oh my goodness. This place is called actually called Nyali. So I just left the main road because the other main road takes you to the other side of the main area. So this road is called Beach Road. And oh my goodness, you see how this wall was fixed with corals. So somebody might think it's actually they cut the stone and they made, they created a wall this way, but those are just the fixed stones of the corals. You see how they are? Oh man. This is called creativity. Creativity. Look also on the other road. Oh man. Actually, just like the waste of the coral stones and uh, it's just like used to make a uh, best wall oh man but the craziest thing with this wall is like a snake can live in here but you cannot know if there's a snake or not but uh, also somebody can just trigger to put a small bomb i'm not saying that somebody can put a bomb but uh, in the other way around so you see like it has some walls and uh, other stuff of this so meaningly a snake or anything can can crawl and uh, coil itself inside that area and uh, you might be like oh man so but if you paint it this way or if you plaster it this way it tends to be one of the greatest area and very good so it tends to be one of the greatest Sometimes I feel so much hard to to vlog here because sometimes I'm like, oh man, because you know, a place where all you look same, people tend to be like, ooh. So the, going to the other side is the place of the richest area or the richest neighborhood. Ah, it's an evening walk after a long hectic day, and uh, I wanna go do some shopping, but first, I'm killing time because of uh, one two three like I want to move around and see this rich neighborhood green neighborhood around Mombasa so tomorrow it might be one of the vibing so this is a food market so it's a food mart okay now this is it you wanna see between the food mart in this area of the Poshi and uh, in a local area like in the where our moms do so that's what I'm going to do but in initial, let's reach there and come back. And we wanna go and uh, see on the other area. So two stories. Yeah. We are going to do two things at a time. That's like using the food mat and uh, the local area of the other side, and which might be cool. Oh man, Mombasa. Actually, people don't hurry here. So this is one of the Poshi area called Nyali but it's not Ina Nyali because I want to be taking it to Ina Nyali maybe tomorrow on the other side but for now it's an evening walk in this beautiful area Nyali is well known of its uh, beautiful green cool serene environment one of the best area to live in is in Nyali. If somebody tells you where are you going in Mombasa, where are you living? Nyali. Oh man, people respect you much because it's the coolest place with top te total security and it's serenity of the environment and everything. It's like oh man. So the deeper I go or the more I go from this area, the more the poshi or the more the rich they live because i came from the other side so the more i moved here the more everything is here i'm not going to sing resha piriri all i'm going to sing pirinda because i want to find one of the most unique songs that is being sung in mombasa and uh, i want to try to vibe with it around Mambo i want to go and try to vibe you know 
we might be seeing how things are around. <laughs> okay. That's why I've been told traveling and vlogging is not easy. This is what you tend to see. People looking at you as if you are lost. Oh man. I don't know if my camera is just creating justice on the other side. And uh Oh yes. Hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know when I tend to meet some kids, I tend to be more social and happy with them because the kids are innocent and you tend to you know to create that environment of respect. Apart from all kids in this world, honesty, consistency, transparency, trustworthy without respect all those are nothing you know are just like vanity without respect because respect is what makes people respect others even if you are not having that even if you're having trustworthy but you don't have uh, uh, you, are, uh, you don't have respect then you tend to be nothing because respect is what makes people to love people you know you might be having it all but if you lack respect you might be having all things in this world, but if you lack respect, then all is vanity. If you have trustworthy, but you don't have all, uh, respect, then all is nothing. Because we come from different backgrounds, we come from different races. So if I'm rich and I don't have respect towards the people who don't have, uh, or the people who are surrounds me, then even if you give thousands of money to them, to all the people surrounding you, but you don't have respect, then it's all nothing but if, if you don't have or if you have but you respect each and every person around you then that means a lot than even having a lot of money you know respect uh the, this famous uh reggae singer by the name uh, uh lucky dube or bob marley uh lucky dube he said we have sung about brotherhood we have sung about neighborhood we have sung about uh, trustworthy. We sang, or we always sing about uh, honesty. But all of those things we speak about, we all need respect because respect is the key of everything. This is a school over here. The school, the school called Marvile Academy or Maville. How do we read it? Welcome to Marvile Academy or welcome to Maville. Hmm. It's called Ali Years Primary School. Oh. Seems to be a rush hour because most of the people are coming out of the job, others are going to job. Because you never know those people who work at night, there's those who work during the day, others are going home. So, yeah. So most of the people might be asking Cloud, why didn't you shoot videos in the morning? This is what was happening in the morning. Since yesterday night, yesterday when I arrived here, it has been raining, it has been doing all stuff. And soon I might be finding an Indian estate because there's more Indians here. And I wanna be maybe vlogging there and sharing with you my experience around this area. So you tend to see on the other side. Most of the buildings here are old, 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 old. old. And most of the buildings. Most of the buildings are old and they are painted white because Mombasa is one of the oldest cities. And it has a lot of uh, maybe say the leading, the leading. Uh, uh, Mambo Bibi Kaka. Wow. You good? Yeah. Thank you, brother. <laughs> yes. So lovely. This is a to see how lovely people are around in Mombasa. Are very nice and very cool. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm telling you. Like the most of the leading tribe here is uh, Miji Kenda. Yeah, Miji Kenda. Because Miji Kenda means nine, 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 nine houses or nine what? <laughs> I don't care sure of which, but uh, Kenda means nine. So, Mji means house. So nine houses or Meji Kenda. Let's go side and see. Ombo Vipigaka. 
Let's go see and what's maybe happening. On the other side is crazy. So they are burning some Diazi Bajia. Let's try and see. Hello. Mambo Vipi. Wasalama. That's the best one. Diazi Mihogo. Diazi or Mihogo. Mihogo. Next oh guys, so this is this is cassava guys, and I wanna be sitting around. So shinga binga bimbiomba. So guys, I'm trying to buy this. So Mombasa is well known of its uh, best and uh, great spices and everything. So tani kia hii ya shirini na nini? Iza kujiro ni nini kasi na? Mining Jumbo. Oh, so guys, it's a spiced tomato, and uh, these are the cassavas. So, oh man, I wanna try it now. So, gonna pull it from Mpesa. Ah, okay, I'm mine. And here, here. So, oh my goodness, let me try it and see. Let me try this. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Biting the... The magazine on the game. Hey. Hey. This is cassava guys. Just a random walk in the street of this area in Nyali. Oh my goodness. And I just fell in love with the, the cassava, roasted cassava actually. This is how they made it from this area. They made a very big uh, what we call like a jiko. It's like a charcoal jiko but it's turned into wood jiko. And there is uh, oil, cooking oil on there. They prepare this. The way India has a lot of uh, maybe say spicy food is the same as in Mombasa right here. Let me eat this in a peace way, then I can continue moving with my vlog, okay? Mm -hmm. It's actually crunchy, sweet, and uh, because of the taste of the chili and the tomato mixed together they produce a sour taste like tamarind so nice and beautiful let me enjoy and the peas I, I move around okay there's a Maasai guy selling some local That's how he's preparing it actually. Oh man. Nice thing. Wapunga milango ya nini? The trailer. The accuracy is on another level. A very big shopping bag, but and I bought grips. <laughs> ah, this is the craziest way the cloud Joseph. I have a very big shopping bag rich in Canada, but uh, I'm buying grips. What if fifth, and I can put them in here? Okay, now there is it. I bought grips worth this cloud with my big shopping bag. Uh, I'm not moving on the other side. So these are cassavas, they will see. So these are the cassavas on the other side. So instead of me moving to the other side, let me keep it this way. With my big bag 
from Canada. Uh, this way. Okay, I wanna put it on a side and I wanna be moving. So this is one of the craziest way actually. Rain is a blessing, but at a times it causes a lot the way you see on the other side. So it's it's rained to an extent that it's creating some chaos now. Look, the roads are impassable. <laughs> So I'm actually moving randomly in this area and uh, I might be reaching on the other side and I want to go to do a small shopping. Oh my goodness. It's reaching already Mombasa in the evening time. It's called the Riga Civila on the other side. It's called the Riga Civila. Oh man, biggest Sevilla, some huge fruits, very amazingly. So, I will be going around and see. This is one of my dream cars, Range Rover Discovery. You know one thing I love about Discovery, it's our all weather car. Whether it's raining, it's the king of the road actually, whether it's raining, where is the road is cool, where it's stony, where it's bumpy, it moves randomly. And regardless of the road, discovery moves around. So tomorrow you might be having a very good and amazing uh, vlog of from this area. So we are moving to that area of links and we wanna be coming around. So I wanna share with you some great vibes of this area. This is where I wanted to live, at the Lynx Road, and then I want to be sharing with you. So this going straight, it takes you direct to the beach. So nowadays Mombasa, they are trying to, uh, to build new, new houses like this. Mm. You can rent actually, and uh, you can also do some other stuff around. And you want to be seeing how amazing their life is around. Soon I might be joining them to work out, but I don't know how to work out. Let's see from this area. Hello. Yes. Shama mama. Mhm. Mauna matunda mazuri uzaji. Matunda gani? Una matunda mara tatu. Mhm. Mara tatu. Niko na avocado. Avocado. Mhm. Maembe. Apple mango. Ngoya. Banana. They look like a horse, a running horse. Not, there is a, another one which you call the horse, horse. But, not, but not this one. Not this one. Yeah, this is a Goya mango. A Goya mango. Yeah. So which is sweet between apple and a Goya mango? Apple mango is sweet than Goya, Goya mango. Goya mango. Yeah. Okay. So how much? 70 shillings, mm -hmm. 50 shillings. So one goes for 50 shillings. Goya, mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. for 50 shillings. Mm -hmm. Apple mango, mm -hmm. one inch. 70 shillings. Yeah. Okay. We are in Africa, guys, where everything is just organic, not inorganic. Maybe sometimes you could be renting here. Organic, inorganic, organic, inorganic. So one goes because, or is it? It's about to come Mombasa, Mama. Don't you pay a bill? Yeah, to come Mombasa. So don't you pay a bill? Yeah. But we end up mashambani. Mashambani. Since we are not talking. I will tell you for more, guys. One mango here. It's called apple mango because we have two varieties of mango here. Mom says this is called the uh, mango. Ngoya mango. Yeah. And this is apple mango. Apple mango. Uh, and your name Moja. The uh, apple, apple mango. mango. Yeah. Ripe or not too ripe? Not too ripe, yeah. but ripe. But ripe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this one. Like this, but this is so pressed, Mama. You only have to ripe and then it will be good. Yeah. Like this one. Why? 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 No, one. I, because I'm talking about the fall. Matunda to fall to fall. Hey, hey. So I'm buying this. I bring it. Yeah, yeah. And you call him a novi as So you can check it. Ah, I put it this one yeah, here. In here. What about here? Bananas. Banana, which, how many? Uh, how much do you make banana? Like, uh, how like? Four, four bananas, 50 shillings. Eight bananas, 100. Uh, four bananas. For 50, for 50 shillings. shillings. Eight bananas. 
Okay. Do for me. Four. Four. Hey, mm. mom, but you are expensive, mom. Not expensive. Hey, mm. aye. Let me put Mombasa. Not Mombasa. Aye. Any more? Avocado. One hundred each. Ah, avocado touch. Ah, yeah. So, guys, I'm um, actually buying bananas and this at uh, this area called uh, Lynx Road it's at, uh, actually the beach road straight from where I was from the main road you can go straight to the beach it takes you direct to the beach and this Lynx Road takes you to Nyali the main Nyali on the other side and also it takes you direct to the beach and if you are here promote our mama mom you know who is mama? Patricia Kamene Patricia Kamene yeah. uh, I thought you were the Luo I could, um... I'm not a Luo, I'm a Mkamba You're a Mkamba? Yeah uh, Okay, that's why my mother is talking Guys, Kamba, Kamba land is well known for mangoes Like, you know, I think it's a mother is very good But they plant very nice mangoes So, how are you, mom? So, how are you doing? Shilingi miya moja, na shilingi 120 so 120. Yeah. I could have bought one avocado, but hey. Take it, one avocado. No, no, it's very no. nice. But now it's expensive, man. Not expensive. Uh, it's expensive. Yeah. Okay. Hey. So guys, let me, let me buy this because. Yeah, and this one, this. This is in the inner of Sini. And this is the Because I'm here in. Uh, I'm here actually in Mombasa for some quite uh, some days. So, literally, uh, literally, I'll have to do what we call like uh, buy this for to sustain my day because I bought some for here, but my mind was like I love bananas again, so I have to add some more bananas. So, this is the business right here. We have fresh cabbage, which is um, very organic, and we also have kales and spinach on the other side. Sir. Oh man, so great actually! So we wanna be doing here, and I'm calling my Canadian, my Canadian bag from this area, and we might be moving. So this is Mombasa, building the way. Oh, very very great actually. Very green, nearly, very amazingly. Eh? Where are you going? 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 Where are <laughs> you know what is happening here, mom is saying <laughs> in Kenya things are hard so I have to speak in a slow tone so that everybody cannot hear about why we are complaining about Kenya. <laughs> but actually in Kenya things are really crazy guys, to be honest. <laughs> It's hassle and everyone will be seeing around and uh, we have to pay. Now Kenya is going cashless, you have to pay via phone, you know. So cash is little, so we have to pay via phone. And we wanna be moving. so we are trying to compare this, you see, and we wanna be having another way. Nanishal Yali Nyali, Nyali Nyali Nyali. Lynx Road, also the famous beach road. Straight, I will be taking you to the beach tomorrow and we'll be enjoying actually this. Kudos. So far, so far, guys, have spent uh, one dollar. That's actually buying bananas for one uh, hundred shillings, and uh, what we call like one apple, apple mango. mango, one apple mango. Thank you, mom. Welcome. We can say some words to the people watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some words about the business. What are kind of the challenges that you face in your business sometimes? Like today, yes. Nowadays, yes. business is very good and. Other days, yes. no business. There's no business. So, since people love you around here, because whenever I see people like that, they to laugh with you around. They love around. my avocado. They it's, love avocado. Yes, it's, it's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. Guys, let me buy one avocado for the sake of that, because this one. This one. Yeah, it looks so nice. Yeah. Let, let me show you yes. the one which is ripe. ripe. Show me the one which is ripe. So actually, one thing, the secret of having a best skin and living this life is 
buying more fruits uh, shy vine sija nikalifinya finya finya akasema haya dumbukiza huko ndani kwenye canadian bag langu ndio nikilibeba vizuri watu sija akasema eh so i bought avocado avocado i bought uh, apple mango and some uh, bananas. bananas at uh, 200 let me say 20 dollars not 20 dollars but uh, 2 dollars because according to the conversion it takes uh, money because 1 dollar is uh, 130 but it keeps on fluctuating mama taeka it keeps on fluctuating here and there so 2 dollars actually i bought banana apple mango and avocado okay ah uh, sasa nakuja mie eh nakuja mie atozo kunipunguzia mama eh tu na check wale wanajua bei mtu anakuja ya rachukua naenda anaenda wala najua mbeyi tu anachukua na mtu anaondoka hata kuna kuongea alina kuongea wanaenda haya haya sawa ai haya nashukuru mama ah shaingia sasa mimi na nyoka ina juu itanipeleka huko lakini narudi hivi so guys i have been shopping station ngoja nyoka so this is it guys we were shopping around here yes shopping Nia mara prareyo. Mabere mabere, ma, macho roko kuswango. Hmm? Macho roko. Pojo. Dengu pojo. Eh ya wanyaka hii ni nyau pojo ya. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to buy this. It's the street food actually. They're called sambusa here or samosa. They're very famous actually in, in also in India. Tunalipa yeah. na Mpesa. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So this street food right here. One thing about Carl Joseph I love promoting mamas in the streets that's one thing I love about it and it's so amazing it's so great Njomba mambo vipi Uko fresh Ah ya sana Nini hiyo nyatuelewe Utaelewa tu tukisonga mwanangu dunia moja hii So So Asaketi ni Carol Ai 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 So was buying this I have to enjoy this na nikia chat ni ndani ama ni live? Nieke. Sio taibu mwa kidogo ama ni lenyewe hivi. Momo wa kidogo. Huyu namjua, huyu tunaongea cha kikwetu. Eh, nasikia tu ongea tukoroge kikwetu. Aha. Ome. Aya baba sote. Aya karibu. Aya guys, I just bought this. Ama sio busara kula nikitembea. Ngoja nile hapa, alafu ndo niende. So guys, I'm just I'm saying like it's not good eating while walking. So I have to eat, finish, dispose this down here and I move around, which is a good thing. Let me try and test this, okay? Mm. Mm. So nice. So sweet. Mm. Mera. Ma meat. Meat carrot manumu. <laughs> I'm making her love you know this is the thing of business around here Na dono cha hapa hapa Ah ah ya asante Guys asante Yeah This is Mombasa I definitely become full without going on the other side. So Asante is a Swahili word means thank you. All we have done well. So it's evening time. I came from Links Road and now I'm having my big shopping bag right here. And I wanna go back to the room and uh, enjoy my fruits because they are the one which keeps me moving around because sometimes the sun is so much burning and the weather here is, is changing actually anytime it can uh, rain because uh, 
Oh my goodness. Mombasa now is experiencing a lot of rain. If you are paying a visit in Mombasa now, we are experiencing a lot of rain, which is a good thing, is a blessing, but now it's too much, man. Some people cannot go to work because some, some roads are blocked. Some houses are uh, definitely collapsing because of uh, this area, because of much of the water and everything. But we give thanks because every day is a learning day and every day is cool, so we cannot try to complain. Wow, amazing and great. <laughs> so those guys thought I'm a madman. So from the other side, they were saying, Omera, And the other guy says, God help us. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, let's go. This guy's coming in here. Let's go. People tend to indicate, but while indicating, they don't know where they're going. Crazy people. Okay, guys. Bye. Let's see the comparison of this. This is food market. Let's see the comparison of a local and uh, this area. I'm going to leave my fruits here and go in here and share and see. Yumba here, kwangu na yacha wapi? Thanks, Simi Angwa. Thank you, Yao Kunda. Eh? Eka mire yangu muna. Nafanya vlog mwenye. Bwana jipoint kwa kiyangu. Nafanya vlog video but speed him to you i mean the man i make point kwang so guys i'm actually doing a small vlog with the other side for the food you have to pick this i bought my other fruits on the other side and i want to do a small comparison and see how the food is actually so that that was local that was local now I want to do fruits only basing on fruits and I wanna see because between fruits and uh, I wanna see Alum Jumba Matunda 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 Fan Fridge Fan Fridge Easy to pick your music one I'm not matunda making a bottle in a food market and I can feel here I'm getting around matunda so guys I want to buy the apples only and see. Yeah. Just apples. I do love apples. Okay. And see. Just apples. Because they are still no other fruits. Let me see. Definitely, I did my small shopping and I just paid. So, my big, big Canadian shopping bag. Around. Oh man, we got four apples. Goes around. Drop this. Ah, I did my small shopping, and uh, I definitely paid. And now I'm moving straight out of the other area, and I wanna see how stuff might be. So I could have gone to the other area, but now I'm moving straight. Wanna lost and get lost. So <laughs> buying for apples. This is why now sometimes I tend not to buy things in the supermarket or in the big malls. It's better I do local. And people tend to say, "Oh, you are shopping cheap and ding." We just imagine, guys. You shopping at uh, at the supermarket. You do around. Uh, Four apples, which goes to around 160, not around, but 160. That's a uh, definitely almost two dollars. And uh, shopping in a local area or in a local kibanda, we call them here kibanda, where you see a grocery area. We call it kibanda, where mom or a man is selling. We call it kibanda. That 160 Kenyan shillings. That's almost two dollars. You can actually buy bananas avocado and a mango and also those four apples that you're buying there you buy an apple uh, at uh, 25 Kenyan shillings or let's say 30 Kenyan shillings 
so four apples definitely will come to uh, probably 100 on 200 you know no 120 because when we say 25 times 4 that's 100 and when you put at 30 and we say four apples it will definitely bring 120 so mostly they have scammed me one apple <laughs> Definitely they have scammed me one apple. So when we say definitely they have scammed me one, not in a bad way, but also they have to gain. But in a crazy way. <laughs> so that's why sometimes I prefer if you are shopping uh, in a place here and you are traveling or you are doing it on a budget, you better buy in a local places like this. But it depends. So if it depends with how your pocket is. Uh, and mostly an advantage of me shopping on a, also on a local area is like things tend to be more fresh more more fresh than in a supermarket because in there they have been there for long they have been there for long in a refrigeration or in a refrigerator so mostly they go to get a very nice organic thing from a local market like this and uh, you do it amazingly so that's how we tend to see okay guys i want to say thank you so much for being on this youtube channel i really appreciate your love and support thank you so much we just shopped and i want to go to the room and show you before we end completely i want to go show you what i bought and uh yeah so let's head there in initial this is how mombasa huh, nearly is for now links road or beach road this is what you see so i'm kind of shocked like the drainage system here how is it uh, this is a church oh my goodness this wall is going to fall very soon this wall i fit it is a church this wall. Oh. okay that's my neighbor she's my neighbor she just said mambo. Mambo is a look even at the drainage. The drainage is very nice. <laughs> She's my neighbor and uh, she, Mambo is a general uh, is a general greeting for youths. Like me if uh, I'm at the age age set. They say age set or age group. They can say mambo, but you cannot tell a big person maybe 50 or 40 mambo. But if, if, if you have jokester with him or her, you can say mambo, but uh, it's a general word, okay? Mambo means what or uh, how are you, but it's a greeting over here. So let's go to the room and see how stuff might be, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my Canadian bag should be there. And uh, this is actually the food that I bought. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, my creeps are falling down be there. Mm. I'm right bananas this way. And I spent around three dollars. Three dollars that is thirty uh three hundred Kenyan shillings. This way right here. Let me know the comment section. Uh how how much will you have bought that? Well, how much would you have bought that in your place or in your country on where you come from? And initially, this is the beautiful area where I stay. I believe and I thank God for the love and uh, for the each and every single day where I wake up and I find myself like I'm in such a place and environment. It motivates me a lot like, oh man, you can go back home and change the environment too. Look, people do their own good around and uh, we keep motivating each and every day like oh my goodness if i work today in my village i work from my villa i see some beautiful coconut trees around me it motivates me really amazing a lot so this is mombasa nearly area i appreciate your love and support guys please subscribe and let me know what do you think about our shopping and uh, the quick tour around here and there maybe i should be this way yeah the quick tour about uh how everything is around because not everyone and uh, 
uh, not everyone might be like some place might be oh you are so those was so expensive that oh those is so cheap so yeah it depends on the place because this is in Mombasa and you know very well everything here sometimes it tends to be so salty so the mango travel all the way from Kamba Kamba land like so many kilometers a thousand kilometers to Mombasa and bananas also on the other side because here in Mombasa the only thing that is grown here little little coconuts because the land is salty and they're alongside the ocean so mostly you know very well agri for those who did agriculture they know well about land yeah bye guys subscribe road to 20k subscribers bye beautiful mombasa in the early area